I believe this is the most important video I have made so far in my YouTube career. I believe that Apple, Google, Amazon, Facebook are about to change the world. And I believe that it's going to happen as a result of the coronavirus and several other events that have happened in the, in the past. I want to start with the premises of would you drive your car on the local interstate at the peak of, of uh, rush hour at 75 miles an hour without a dashboard, without a speedometer, a gas level measure, oil pressure, tire pressure, water temperature, GPS, battery charger, brake pad warning, blind spot alert. Your car, if it was built in 2016, it has over a a hundred sensors in it to provide you all the information you need to move down that highway at 60, 70, 80 miles an hour and be, feel totally safe and feel that you're going to arrive at your destination. And we know from what we read that the number of sensors are only increasing. If you bought a car this year, that it, that those number of sensors have moved up from 100 to 145. If you buy a car in the future that is going to be self-driving, it's going to have hundreds more. And yet, why do you drive your body through the perils of life that you go through every day without a dashboard? Why do you do it? Is it because there isn't a dashboard available? No. That's not the case. The dashboard's available. The technology is there. The, 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 the reality is you haven't demanded it. You haven't said to the leaders of your world, to the business owners of the world, I want a dashboard for my body. You've got everything you need to have the dashboard. You have a cell phone. You carry it with you. They've been collecting data on you. For the last 15 years, that gives you the availability of a dashboard. Let me show you that that is true. As the coronavirus took over our world, a sewage plant in Des Moines, Iowa, knew there was a virus in Des Moines before you knew there was a virus. A 17-year-old boy was notified through his Apple Watch that he was going to have a heart attack and he, was rush he rushed himself to the hospital and he still lives. There are sensors available to measure your glucose level. My Fitbit measures my heart rate, my sleep, my exercise, and it rates me against my peer group of millions of people. The dashboard is available. You just haven't demanded it. You haven't said, I don't want to go any further. I want a dashboard. Change is driven by events which create demand. Let me say that again. Change is driven by events which create demand. The demand has to come from you and I. We have to say we want it. What are some events that created change? Certainly the Great Depression did. World War II, the Vietnam War, the Civil Rights Movement, the dot-com bubble, 9-11, which we just celebrated an anniversary, the subprime crisis, sometimes referred to as the real estate crisis, the coronavirus, Black Lives Matter movement. These are elements of change that create a demand from its citizenry that we want change. The coronavirus hopefully is winding down. And as a result, we need to be demanding change. We need to be saying, I want a dashboard on my life. How is this going to be happen? Who owns the data? Who owns the data that can make that dashboard available to you? Well, you and I know the answer to that question because we've read the big nine. We know here in the United States, it's Apple, Google, Amazon, Facebook, Microsoft. In, in China, it's um, Baidu, Alibaba, and Tencent. 
And China isn't holding back. China is building that dash dashboard for their citizenry. The China government knows the technology is available and they're going to be in the forefront. But we aren't. We are pulling the leaders of our Apple, Google, Amazon, and Facebook into Congress and threatening them with breakup. That don't make no sense whatsoever. These are the people who can save my life. These are the people who can give me 10, 20 more years. If I had a dashboard that would tell me every day what's going on in my body. The technology is there. We are approaching the fourth industrial revolution. And it's going to be driven by you. And it's going to be driven by artificial intelligence, cloud computing, and machine learning. The dashboard in your body, for your body, will be just like the dashboard for your car. I have talked to you in the past about a smart toilet, a smart toothbrush, a smart mirror, a device that will check my blood every day, every week, whatever. As it is, my blood is only checked once a year. As a result, my PSA has gone from four to nine. As a result, I have done nothing for 12 months to curb the potential of prostate cancer. That's not acceptable. That shouldn't have happened to me. It shouldn't happen to you. You need to demand that your cell phone provide you with a dashboard for your body. As you move through life at rapid speed and are exposed to all kinds of disasters, one of which is called a, a coronavirus pandemic, that was allowed to happen, and I mean that, that was allowed to happen because we did not demand a dashboard. Only you can make this happen. The dashboard is here. You have to scream out and say, I want my life dashboard. How are you going to do that? In the description, there is a link to this video. I want you to copy and paste that link to this video on your Facebook post, a Twitter post, your email it to everybody that you love and are concerned about. I want you to post it on LinkedIn. I want, to, I want you to email this, this video to your congressman and your senator. I want you to email it to your local news sources that you demand, and that's what the headline was, I demand my life dashboard. I demand my life dashboard. If I can have one for my damn car, I can have one for my body. And I can extend the life, just like that dashboard on, the, on my car extends the life of my vehicle. I should have the same technology to extend my life. I demand it. I want you to read another book. It's called Lifespan, Why We Age and Why We Don't Have To by David Sinclair. I've been listening to it on my Audible. This is a picture of his cover. Amazon hasn't delivered it to me yet, but then I only ordered it on Friday. The book will give you new hope. First of all, it'll give you new hope and new guidance to extend your life. He explains that death is merely a disease. It is caused by a lot of things that are inherent to our body, our genome, but our genome can be adjusted. It is caused by things like cancer that attack our body, but we operate in the past on relative to medicine. We say that if there's a problem of cancer in our lungs, it must be lung cancer. And in the past, we have treated lung cancer this way. No, we need to know what kind of cancer that is and then treat it accordingly. We need to put molecules into our bloodstream that go in a attack that specific kind of cancer. We need to know this through our dashboard. It'll teach you that your dashboard is possible. It will provide you another window in the future. Just like I have suggested that you read this book to give you a window 
into the future. There's a quote that I came across. I had posted it, I think it was five years ago, on my Facebook page. And I came across, as Facebook notifies me of things that I did in anniversary, it reads, a man who doesn't read good books has no advantage over the man who can't read them. It's from Mark Twain. It is so true. If you are not reading, if you are not educating yourself, you're illiterate. You can read, but you don't. You might as well be illiterate. Read these books. Give yourself an advantage. I'm playing the long game. I'm going to invest in my future. I'm going to do it by investing in Google, Amazon, Facebook, and Apple because they're on sale this week. I, I, you, you've read the articles. You know that the Dow is down and, and the NASDAQ is down and, and things are, are volatile. Put that in perspective. They are volatile. The, the, the market is going through a disturbance. People are, are reacting in fear. The computer trading is coming in and creating a landslide. And it continues to fall. And it will continue to fall. But recognize what happens when an event changes your life. And you are, you are in it. You are about to see it happen. And you have an opportunity of a lifetime. Because you and I are going to demand a life dashboard. Because death doesn't have to happen any more than an automobile accident has to happen if I'm driving down the highway at 70 miles an hour and I don't have a dashboard and I don't have a warning system and I don't have, a, I, my car isn't going to explode on me because the radiator is overheating. It can't happen. My car will shut it down. I want the same thing for my life. And you and I got to demand it. So, go to the description, cut and paste. We have to take this video viral. This is the power of best of us investors. This is the power of the tribe. We have 45,000 of us, approaching 50,000. If 50,000 people will post this video on Facebook, Twitter, email, LinkedIn, Mail it to your congressman. Mail it to your local news services. We can change the world we live in.